Chief Dev here for Thunderhawk Lures. I got with Hawk Hong several years ago and he'd asked me to help out of his company and design baits for him. And since then we've had great success. We got Jerry Rago and myself. And what we tried to do, Hawk came to us and says, look, just listen to what the fish want, listen to what the fishermen want. Don't try to sell somebody else's stuff. Come up with your own innovative ideas and that's what we did. I'm here today to introduce you to the new grunt jig. I created the grunt jig as a result of fishing a lot of other jigs I like to fish, but every one of them I ever fished had little things I like, little things I didn't like. So what I did was come up with a grunt. The grunt does all the work for you, just like a grunt in the military. Um, it gets in there, it does a lot of things, and it, it catches fish. That's the biggest thing we all want to do. So I got with Hawk. We came up, every new component we got on this is our, we make it ourselves. So if you take a look at the grunt, what I designed is a hybrid furnace jig. I designed it to get in where the fish live, under docks, skip it, under wood, it bounces off of wood and timber real well, brush piles, and on rock. I really designed the head to come through rock really well. But I wanted a smaller compact jig that you don't need a big jig all the time, especially if you're smallmouth fishing or you're spotted bass fishing or sometimes the big bass, just largemouth, just want a smaller profile. So again, we created the grunt jig. If you take a look at this, there's several unique properties about this. This is a hand-tied hybrid finesse jig. And you see on the bottom right here, we, I designed it to come through rock and also skip real well. And there are several components about this that work in conjunction with each other to get through things that you wouldn't think would go through, such as our little fiber weed guard. A lot of companies make what I believe to be too stiff a weed guard and the fish so you lose a lot of fish if you have too stiff a one, but the whole idea is if this comes through cover, it bounces, deflects off it, and that's all you want to do, but you do not want to inhibit the bite. So also what I did is created an extra small, extra stout and sharp hook. That if you look at this hook, it's an itty bitty hook, but you cannot bend it out if you took a pair of pliers with it, you'd probably get it out. But I also designed this with a point being up and an extra big bar for such a small hook. Whole idea is if fish bite on this, I want to be able to jack them and get them in the boat. That's all we want to do. So we didn't, again, didn't reinvent the wheel. I think we just made the wheel better with this jig. If you look at our skirt as well, it's our own silicone skirt. I call it rubber, uh, silicone mix. I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what the properties are of it. I just came to Hawk and the engineer said, I want a skirt that really flares and really pulsates. A lot like the old school rubber but it has a longevity that's a lot better. We also tied in, you see some tinsel in there too. I also wanted to create a skirt that gives several dim dimensional looks when it comes through the water. So we think we created the perfect little hybrid for nest jig called the Grunt. And also one of the big things I had a problem with in the past is the keeper systems. You'll notice there we put a little keeper system in there, hold your uh, plastic trailer you put on there. But we, did, we think we got this one just right. Um, I've talked to a lot of people about this jig. We're already getting pre-orders of this all across the country. Smallmouth guys, largemouth guys, spotted bass guys, and everybody's loving this jig. In the initial testing we did up in Minnesota, we landed almost every fish that touched this bait. And the reason being is I, I designed it specifically for that. You know that there's a lot of baits out there that a fish will come up, take a look at, do the taste test, I call it, and spit it back out. And a lot of times you don't even know it's there. But what I did was create this in such a way with the weed guard, everything works together, like I said before, the point of the hook, everything in here, so it grabs and grabs skin and just pulls out and then it gives you time to actually indicate that the strike is there. Also what we did, we, we now have our Camel Crawl Juniors, our highly successful bigger creature crawl bait, the Camel Crawl, excuse me, the Camel Crawl, we made it 25% less. The whole idea to that, we wanted to fit our camel, or uh, excuse me, our grunt jig. You, these two as a trailer is an unbelievable match. We have several colors that I worked really hard with. Uh, several of our, our uh, bait companies that are buying bait from us and also fishermen throughout the country. We got colors for up in Minnesota, fishing rivers, freshwater lakes, with the Great Lakes. We got colors for that. We got colors for guys requested on New York. We got colors that people wanted in Texas. And down here, we even have one called in Florida where I'm at today. We got one called a Kissimmee Gill. So please check this out. Try it out, just buy one. You'll be hooked, just like that potato chip commercial. You're gonna want more than one. Go to thunderhawklures.com, tell them Chief Dove sent you. Check out the Grunt Grenade by Thunderhawk.
Thanks and have a great day.